So we know we've lost the data center. Some disaster has caused us to lose the data center. Let's assume that the first step is for us to provide infrastructure for critical business processes. We need to be able to identify alternatives so that our data center can come up and begin functioning somewhere else or under some different scenario, perhaps in the same location. So look at our different alternatives. In the next several minutes, we're going to consider cold site, a warm site, a hot site, a mobile site, and then pulling it all together, how do we decide one type over another? Let's start off with a cold site. A cold site is nothing more than a bare room. It's a facility with basic environmental utilities. We know that our cold site has electricity. It has phone jacks probably on the wall. It has HVAC services, and people can live there. People can work there. So we know it's got the basics. This is also the least expensive option. You don't have to spend very much money just to maintain the room. However, it requires the most work and the most time to restore operations. What you have to do to enable a cold site is at the moment you decide we need this cold site to become active, we have to physically acquire all the hardware, move it into the room, load any software, load any data, make sure that we have the networks properly set up, all the workstations have to be configured, and then again, any software, any data, and any patches that may be necessary to load on the system have to be loaded, configured, and we can finally bring the system up. It's going to take probably in the neighborhood of 24 hours or more to bring a totally cold site up to speed to where you can start using it. Again, least expensive option, but requires the most work and time.